Hello students, welcome to Show Ups Classes. So in today's video, we'll solve further question from UGC Net Economics 2017 November Paper 3. So in today's videos, we'll be solving questions from only microeconomics. So first we'll start with 2017 November Paper 3. So we'll straight go to the questions. So in the earlier video, we solved question until question number three so in today's video we'll go to question number four so another question so first we'll start with question number four so in question number four it is given movement from an efficient allocation to an inefficient sorry to an inefficient allocation to efficient allocation in age word box will four options are given increase the utility of all individual increase the utility of at least one individual but may decrease level of utility of another person increase the utility of one individual but cannot decrease the utility of any individual and decrease the utility of all in individual so so for this we know so we have to explain what is age word box diagram and its exchange so for this i'll take another page so now in this page i'll explain what is age word box so for this the age word part is basically usually how do we study the behavior of mar market using the traditional demand and supply curve so when we say for an example when we say this is demand and this is supply and we get the equilibrium price level and equilibrium quantity this is known as partial equilibrium so this is basically known as partial equilibrium because here we are just talking about the market condition for one firm now in case of say for an example general equilibrium that is the when we extend our model to conclude several markets in determining price of many goods a common tool is basically for general equilibrium analysis is age word box so uh, when we talk about general econo equilibrium general equilibrium analysis we usually take what age word box so then we usually take age word box diagram so now what happens is that it usually allows the study of intersection of two individuals trading to different commodities so now what is this so in this case what happens is that this type of analysis basically draws on the use of indifference curve analysis to analyze the trading behavior so now for this what we have to do we will simply draw the edge word box diagram so how do we draw edge word box diagram for this we first make a box like this so in this box what we do This is the IC of one individual, say ICB, and this is the IC for another individual. Say, for example, ICA. So now, where this IT2 intersects, we get what? XA and YA. And here we get Y B and X B. So this we get that is the consumption of X for B and consumption of X for A. So here we measure what on the horizontal plane we measure the total amount of the total amount of x available and on the vertical plane we measure what the total amount of 
available y and this intersection point is known as w so now if we move to the right if we move to the right hand side we know that person a has more of commodity x and person b has less of commodity so if we move on this side we know per person a, a has more commodity and person b has less commodity now similarly moving upward means moving upward means basically that is person a has more commodity and y has less and the same thing happens when we move the opposite side now we rather than introduce budget lines for two consumer the edge word box basically use the con concept of initial endowments and initial endowments is what w represent the amount of commodity x and y individuals a and b have available for trade so this is the amount of w so this is the available x and y available for before trade now at this level the level of x is a x a and level of x is x b okay so what happens is that so our goal one goal of general equilibrium is to analysis to determine if it is possible to make individual a or b better off through the process of exchange given their initial endowments for example a trade such that these two individual move to point r okay so say for an example the individuals of icb has shifted to say for an example ic b1 which we call now, in, now endowment is r initially it was w now it has become r so in this case what happens is that in this case b would be better off as you can see and in this case what happens is that b would be better off because the consumption of a has fallen and the consumption of b has increased so b would be better off So on point R in the diagram below would make B R C B better off without harming A, but A won't be worse off. So at this point A won't be worse off, but B would be better off. Now an optimal allocation of commodities is determined by the concept of Pareto optimality. That is a Pareto optimal allocation of commodities is that allocation where it is not possible to make one person better off without making any other person worse worse off. This is known as graphically shown in the diagram. If you can want to show it, then if it moves to another IC, that is ICA, it will be similar. So now we have to remember what that is. The condition for Pareto optimality is MRSA equals to. M R S B. So now this hypothesis we would know that it will be equal to the competitive equilibrium price. Now if you simply go through, we need not go further with this. If you want to know more about Edgeward box, we'll make another video on simply on Edgeward box. Just for the time being, just remember what we have understood here, and it will be better if you simply go to the question. So in question, it is given and. From an inefficient allocation to efficient allocation in edge board box will move increase the utility of all individuals. This is not possible. Increase utility of at least one individual, as you can see, the increase in utility of B, but may decrease the level of utility of another person. So it may happen. So for this reason, we know for question number four, the right answer would be option two. This is the condition for Pareto optimality that when utility of one individual increases the utility of another individual will fall so we'll make another video 
separate video on edge word box so thank you for watching this video if you have any query or doubt you can simply whatsapp me on this number which is 9836793076 or you can also go to our website which is www.showdopsersclasses.com there you will find a lot of other videos like this and you will also get to see a lot of other materials which are needed for different entrance exams so thank you for watching this video have a nice day ahead